In our previous video, we learned how to fetch and display data using server components. In this video, we will dive into managing loading and error states. Traditionally, in React, you might manage these states by creating separate variables and conditionally rendering UI based on their values. However, with server components, this process becomes more streamlined. To implement a loading state, define and export a React component in loading.tsx. Similarly, for handling errors, define and export a React component in error.tsx. These are concepts we have previously discussed in our routing section. Let's now jump into VS Code to see how these are used in data fetching scenarios. Begin by creating a new file, loading.tsx, in the users folder. Here, define and export a React component. To save time, I will copy paste the code. This component uses two div tags with Tailwind CSS classes to create a loading spinner. Since data fetching is typically fast, let's intentionally delay the component's rendering. So in page.tsx, Let's await a promise that resolves after two seconds. If you now head back to the browser and reload the slash users page, you will notice the loading indicator for two seconds before the user data appears. As you can see, implementing a loading state is very straightforward. Next, let's address the error state. Within the same users folder, create a new error.tsx file. Once again, define and export a React component with suitable styling. I've pasted the code to save us the time. It is important to note that error handling components are client components, so we need the use client directive at the top. The component receives an error object, which we log to the console using use effect. In practice, you would typically forward this error to an error logging service. The UI displays a clear message in red, error fetching user's data. Back in page.tsx, you can simulate an error by changing the URL to an incorrect one. Users123. After saving the file and revisiting the browser, the error message will display, indicating you have successfully handled the error state during data fetching. Error fetching users' data in red. In summary, to manage data fetching states, add a loading.tsx file with a React component for the loading state and an error.tsx file with a client component to handle error states. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.